So magnesium oxide is a great example. As it says here on the slide, we only get about 10% of that elemental magnesium absorbed. So if you're taking a 500 milligram capsule, let's say for an example, you're really at best getting 50 milligrams of magnesium. So you're far deficient in the daily requirement of magnesium that your body needs to, to perform optimally. So as it says here, oxide, magnesium oxide relies on adequate stomach acid to release mineral ions, which then have the ability to enter the body via passive diffusion. So what do I mean by that? So here's a great example. If you're on a, a proton pump inhibitor, some type of antacid medication, and you don't have the proper pH, stomach pH, this is gonna make absorbing magnesium actually even that much more difficult. So there's actually been studies that have proven that if you're on an antacid like a PPI, like an omeprazole, or uh, I'm trying to think of pantoprazole would be another a generic name for a proton pump inhibitor to help with acid reflux issues, that those patients are possibly predisposed to having even lower levels of magnesium 